you guys. Today we're looking at this, which is a mystery to me. Yes. This is the, uh, it says here, SV Action Peter B. Parker, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse um, action figure. And you see, it has not got the big box with the, and the artwork on the front there is a different mould. The word Marvel is also missing off the bottom down here. So I'm not sure if this is, I, I got it from AliExpress. I'm going to try and put that in the heading. I don't know how to, because I don't know if it's a bootleg or a real one or not or what. The box looks pretty good. The box also has all that written underneath. And this thing about D4 Toy Company, flat A dash C, 3A. So, hmm. And this, pa this product, this packaging is intended to protect the product itself and replacement. Da, da, da. You know what I mean? That looks, that looks genuine. There's a barcode down there if anybody's got a barcode reader. Is this, I, I thought, people have told me this was a KO, bootleg, knockoff, um, a fake, but I don't know, the box has turned up, apart from having quite a nasty sort of curvy dint to the back of it, it looks quite good. It has Marvel written on the back there, it doesn't have, I, I was looking at the previous versions of this, and it was a much bigger box because it had the uh, gargoyle head in it. I don't, I can't find anybody that's reviewed one that's in a box like this. Everybody got the gargoyle head on. It is kind of weird. There is just this tiny little window up there. So I don't know what's inside this. I haven't opened it yet. Um, so yeah, you guys are going to be here when I open this up. So yeah, guys, have you got one of these? Is this real or is this a K or a bootleg? Because it was really cheap. It was like um, 25, 25 quid? 25 quid sort of thing. I also ordered the Miles Morales. That has not left, I will say, China. Yeah, it has not left wherever it's coming from. It's not left AliExpress land yet. So I don't know whether it ever will get here. But yes, so we have an instruction booklet in there which looks pretty good, has Marvel and everything written all over it. Also has the word THWIP written on there. It's a very nice booklet. These things are always printed in black and white on relatively cheap paper. So, it's supposed to have in it, let me see that there. B head A, C head B, D head C, E head D, F glasses. I don't know if that's musical or not, but anyway, that was fun to read out. So there are all the parts and pieces it is supposed to have in with it, all the different heads and things, the glasses and stuff. So the instruction booklet looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I'm going to put that down there very safely. Right, the tray inside. It also looks pretty good. There is nothing else in the bottom of there. Um, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of worried because there wasn't one of these in it. I mean, phew. Hasbro. Um, yeah. Oh, right, so we have the back tray with webs and a stand, and then the actual figure. I'm looking at this thinking, this looks too good to be, to be a KO. Is this, you know like the, K, uh, the um, ZD Toys do the Iron Man figures? Is it a company like that that just do them for a different market? Because it does say on the bottom of the box, where's the bottom of the box? It does say um, overseas version. So is this the one that they ship out to us over here in, because this is the UK. Um, is it, is it, okay, all that kind of came out of the box. I do like, I'm, 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 this, is, this has been getting my attention. I thought the mug would be placeable in his hand, but the mug is actually, there's nothing in the mug, well there is, ew. But yeah, that is a hand with a mug on it. I kind of like that, that they've not made it so you've got to struggle to get his, his hand in there. The glasses also came out. There is no glass in the glasses. Let's move those out of the way. Put the glasses back in there. Let's move the hands. Get the figure. And we go. Right. I'm going to put all those bits on. We've got the other heads as well. Let's have a look at those. And another crotch area. I guess that's something I'll have to read the instructions on. 
Right, so let's have a look at the actual figure itself. Right, it feels sturdy enough, it feels good, it has... Oh, let's do the... No particularly loose joints, so that's a good start. I like the fact that he's got creases in the back of his leg there, so that when you do that, it means that the... Oops, ball joints. Um, it means that the legs will actually go like that so you can have him in a more crouched position and I guess you're not really going to notice that he's got a big divot in the back of his leg. I think one of these versions had like the sweatpants with it this one doesn't on some of the pictures that were on good old AliExpress he, he did have the sweatpants so maybe they just used pictures from a different figure let's see if we can get my stand because my B peter b perker it's always weird that spider-man who has the ability to stick to any surface it's always really difficult to get him stand up my other peter b parker has taken out the shelf several times now like that so yeah so we have an extra bit of midriff in there which i'm not sure why we need two bits of midriff but i'm i don't, I don't know maybe that's Is that a smaller bit? So you can do more crouched? Hmm, I think it is. Because looking at that, let's have a look. I'm going to have to pull him to pieces. Right, that comes out of there so the legs fall off. Ah, that bit comes out of there. So yeah, that is a slightly smaller midriff. So I guess that means you can get him into slightly different positions. Wow, that is cool. Yeah, that's, I mean, I'm not going to take it all apart now, but that, I might do. Yep, I can, right. So that means that you can pop that in there, and you, yeah, right, I like that. Yeah, that is cool. I am thinking that these may not be KOs, or I hooded the wrong one and actually got a real one. If this was, if this was, because this was tw like 25 quid, then this is a fantastic figure and I'm thinking is this a company like there's all the bits in there you can see so that then plugs in oh that plugs in because there's a there's a groove there all right so if we get that to pretty much the back Give me a minute, I'll be, I'll be back. Oh, so, after a little bit of struggling, I finally got that part back in. Um, all I will say is, it's right, that bit, focus, this bit here, do something sharp and dangerous to point at it, that bit there, if that comes out, it can be a pain in the touch to get back in. I've had to trim a little bit around, not trim trim, but there was a little bit of lip that was getting in the way, so I've, I've made it so that that will now fit in there. So my advice would be try and separate. I think that should have stayed in there and the ball should have come out, but it didn't. So if you're going to get one of these and you're going to do that, be very careful with it and try not to be a muppet like me and break it, which I didn't. But anyway, so the sp spare heads, we have that one, which is my blonde hair. We have that one, which is obviously his drinking tea face or whistling or something like that but it has a slightly different colour hair and then we have uh, this head which is his I don't know what I'm doing here I'm kind of angry but I'm also confused kind of face so I think that's a, that's the other that's not Peter B Parker is it that's the other Peter Parker it's in the in, in the movie these these heads look great. I was just pick that one because they do have a really nice. He's got a five o'clock shadow on there, and the eyes are real painted. I, I really don't think these are KOs. 
I just think these are being made for a different market than us and are a lot cheaper. Mm. Yes, right, let's pop that over there. So the other head we have with the spider eyes is that, which is a lot bigger set of eyes. It feels like the eyes, I don't know if I can do destructions. It feels like the eyes should unplug, but they don't. No. Right, so the eyes do not unplug. I'm trying to also figure out which one of these, ah, one of these heads must have the glasses. Have I already lost glasses? No, there they are. I thought I'd lost the glasses. Right, let's just have a look. No. No, no, so the glasses must fit on all of them. But they kind of do, but they don't. But they do. Oh, there you go. Yeah, because that's behind his ears. That's not too bad. Yeah. Kind of cool. So you'd have that. Blowing your tea cold. So yeah, let's see what that would look like. All right, let's see if we can swap the heads <laughs> without having to... Right, so that comes out of there. I should pop that into there like that. Try and get... So the neck is... I'm thinking that's the front. And pop that back in. Then which hand is it? That one's got the T in it, so unplug that. Now I know the other one had a newspaper with it, but that is, <laughs> that is quite a cool, I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of want to stand him on the shelf like that. It's a shame that we don't have a half mask kind of version so that you can see the join between the two sort of thing. Yeah. There is... Okay, I've just knocked them all over. There is a plethora of hands in here. There are obviously the, you know, the wall crawling hands and fists. Yeah. A plethora of different hands, which is difficult to get it in. Focus. 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 There we go. I'm moving slowly. So yeah, they're not too bad. We also have a... I kind of like these. Web firing. They're kind of cool. And that's the first time I've ever seen web firing ones that look actually like they, they, they should. You know, like he's coming out of his... out of his wrist area. There is the other set of crotch area. Not quite America's ass, but still. Not quite sure. That looks exactly the same. The other one does is different, but that, that just looks like the same ass. Right, let's move those out of the way. So that's a plethora of hands. We also have... I'm trying to put things in places where they don't fall over and I lose hundreds of Spider-Man hands, which I already have a hundred Spider-Man hands on here. And we also have... Oh, okay, right. <clears throat> that one. He's obviously got arthritis in that finger there. And it's gone a little stiff. Yeah. And that one as well. Yeah. But that that's poor arthritis. Spider on with arthritis. It's terrible at his age. So this has the stand and some webs for him to hold, I guess. One of the hands, yes, that one will hold on to webs. This is this is going to be one of those figures that you will never have it in the same in the same pose for a month. You know what I mean? It's like every month you can go right now. I'm going to have him like this. Now I'm going to have him like that. And I'm to, yeah, you can change it up a weekly even. Let's see if we get one of these out of here. The stand is pretty cool actually as well. Which means you're going to be able to definitely give him. I am impressed. I I do I really really do not think that this is a bootleg or a KO. I think these are genuinely made for a, f a different market than the European market. You see, this is the problem. These little head things come off there. 
which means that's going to be a pain in the tush to get back on. I'm not going to go with the big eyes, I'm going to go with the more sensible look. If I can get it in there. Mm -mm. There, right. You see, I don't think I should chop out these bits where I'm swapping arms and legs, but then you guys probably want to see how easy it is to do. So there you go, so that's on there. So you can fit that in there like that and that is him can he swing from a web can't really do it in this because I can't get the camera there we go yeah so with a little bit of work you can get him into a swinging pose let's just see um, stand usual stuff and very sturdy as well though very sturdy Let's have a look at articulation, because I'm going to pose him in a minute. But articulation, head forward, head back, all the tiltability around there, ooh, all the way around, which is good. Shoulders do seem a little bit more pointy than maybe should be, but that's how it was designed. We have all manoeuvrability in there. Give us a loop, sir. As I said earlier, there is that manoeuvrability in that middle bit there. I'm now being very careful with that because I don't want to pop it out again. He also has manoeuvrability in the lower area, so you are going to get him into some really, really nice poses. I mean, look at that. You can really get that elbow. And this, this does not feel fragile. This does not feel bootleg. I really don't think these are. If it says bootleg on the thing, I... I don't want to put bootleg on, on things because it feels like I'm insulting it. And this is a fantastic figure. Let's see if we can get him to... Look at that! How cool a pose is that? He is... He's crouched. Let me find... Where's the other hands? Where's, where did I put the tray with the hands in? There they are. Right, we're going to go with... That one. And... Let me figure this out. So that will be... That one. Yeah. Right. So, I'll swap that hand out. Nope, wrong hand. It didn't help, they all fell out of the tray. And I've put the left in the right, the right in the left. Right, that's the right. That's the right hand on his left side. That's his left hand on his right hand. I've never been very good with my left and right. It's, it's one of my many... <laughs> Why it took me so long to pass the driving test. And the guy says to you, turn left and you turn right. They do look at you like you're a bit of an idiot. And they do notice when you write R and L on the back of your hand. Anyway, so you can let's see if we can get me into like a, a crawly, what's it, pose? And then. I mean, look at that. Yeah. I mean, okay, work with me here, guys. There is a lot of articulation and a lot of coolness in that. I'm impressed with this figure. I, I, I stand on the thing that this may not be, this may not be a bootleg. This may be a real deal. Just a different pricing for a different area in the world. Because we do get short change here in the UK, particularly, on the prices. I mean, look at that. That is a cool, that is a cool flip. Whip web in there. Yeah, I am. I am so stoked with this because I, I don't have. I've never found a Spider Man I wanted. You know what I mean? Out of all the figures, I never sort of look at them and go, oh, that Spider Man, I need that one. Until now. This, I'm now really, really excited for the Miles Moranis one because that has even more cool hoodies and all sorts of things. So yeah, I'm going to put the other hand back on, because just if he's going to stand, I'm going to do with the other hand, that one. Look at that, I mean that goes on so well, and it just looks so good. Let's have a close up. Yeah. 
quiet, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Is there anything under the soles of the boots? No. Because sometimes they have legally stuff under there. But look, it is. This is the first time in years I've looked at Spider-Man and gone, that's Spider-Man. That is definitely what I would call the perfect the perfect Spider-Man. If I can just get the damn thing to stand. There we go. My foot's not quite flat. Yeah. That's because that front bit there of the table is rising up a little bit. It's really warm today and the plastic sheet that I, I use for this it's is kind of very sticky today. But in, a, in the wrong kind of way, it is not sticking to make the figure stand up, it's sticking to my arm. So yeah, just have interest. Here is the Marvel Legend Peter B. Parker, who you can see is a lot taller. But yeah, this is Spider-Man. That's something else. Yep, I am impressed with this. Like I say, I have no idea whether this is a genuine figure. Everything seems so well made. I don't think this is a bootleg. And we get... I uh, just broke the stand. <laughs> no, the leg fell off. Um, that bit fell off, but that's how it's going to do that. <sighs> Things are made in a different part of the world does not mean that they are not genuine. My only thing is it doesn't have the Spider-Man logo on the front. And the only pictures of this figure that I could find online were the... Um, with the, the the one with the, the gargoyle with it. Hmm. I don't know how the... Ah, that's how the stand works. Right, okay. Like that. So I may, should maybe not have unplugged that bit. Right, so the stand does work quite nicely as well. And I have unplugged... I think there must be some way of putting that into something as well. Because that was on the bottom of the stand. And you see, you can push out these transparent bits and they will go back on. So I am presuming that there may be some way of putting it so that you can, you know, run him down. And the stand is quite nice. Well, it's a cheap stand, but you get cheap stands with the best of figures. Marvel Legends. So yeah, I like this. I think this is a great figure, be it a KO or a real one. I think it's a real one. I just like it. I know I'm not putting in many poses, but that's just because I am going to mess around with this like for the rest of the night and just see what poses I can put him in because I think this is just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant figure. Yes, he may have a few issues with the standing up, but Spider-Man has the same problem as a lot of the female figures. He's got very thin legs and kind of small feet, so, and a very big head, top section. <clears throat> Try and put it politely. But anyway, he has his issues. So yeah, he is, oh, this is brilliant. Yeah, have a look on AliExpress for these. Cause like I say, 20, 30 quid, definitely worth picking up. So yeah. What do you guys think? Real or fake? What is your take on it? I'm going to do another close-up. You just look at the detailing on there. I say, I've been messing around with it now for 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. There is no loose joints in there other than gravity doing it and me wiggling it. Wiggling it violently. <clears throat> Stop it. So yeah. It is perfect. This is a, per this is a perfect Spider-Man. I now have a Spider-Man that I can put on my shelf and think, yes, that is Spider-Man. I was never impressed with this. I always think the, the, it's a shame that the the webbing isn't black. It's kind of got the gold, but I can live with that. I can live with that. I can live, I can live with that. He is, he is Spider-Man. Yeah. That bit there is slightly out of kilter, but that is not a big problem. This bit is rubber. It's weird. That body bit there is rubber. Hmm. Definitely 
definitely a well-made, interesting figure. It's ball joints, they're supposed to do that. So, if you have enjoyed this video and you want to have a little say in whether this is a real or a KO or a bootleg or whatever it is, comments underneath. Put your comments under there. I want to see as many comments on this. Um, I want this, this video to be a, a big one for you guys because you guys have been asking me to do bootlegs and KOs for a while. There hasn't been any. There seriously hasn't been any good ones. A lot of the NECA figures I get do come from AliExpress, but they're just sold in a different market. Like I say, when you read the, the stuff underneath the box, this feels like a real figure, but the original one with the big thing, the big gaggle with it, had Marvel written in that corner, but this has Marvel written somewhere under the back. There. So, yeah, I have no one. What did it say? 2022. Yeah. Please, comments underneath. Tell me, is this real or fake? Yeah, it's up to you guys to let me know. Um, these heads are just fantastic. I, I keep looking at them. Look at that. Focus. It's just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant head. Yeah, I'm going to mess around with this. I would actually buy more of these just to do all the... That reminds me of David Tennant. Doctor Who. David Tennant. The glasses. But anyway, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Please hit the like, shares and subscribe buttons down there. You know what to do. Share this with all your friends as well. Let everybody know this video is out there because it's me. You know, and your friends deserve it. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have a great night. And I will see you all in the next video. Flip. Not foosh. Flip. <laughs>